You fools! Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. That's right. And <laughs> we're just we rehearsed that totally for like two hours just to get that done. So um, we are actually going to talk about Georgia because today is the fourth day of rehearsals, actually individual rehearsals. It's the second half of the second semifinal. And Iriao took the stage just not too long ago. And let's talk this through and see what we're thinking. So as you know, there's these three gentlemen who are doing the main vocals and they are on the stage, center p stage basically, wearing a very pretty like traditional, uh, not traditional outfit, but like a suit kind of kind of looking thing. So it hasn't any buttons and a white shirt with the collars and all that stuff. And then there are um, the two um, instrumentals player like the guy, um, on the side to them. And then at some point they add fog effect. And overall it's, I want to say, fairly simple. But do you think it was good enough? I think it was good enough. It was simple. You could hear the song. It was, again, the song was in the focus. You weren't distracted by a lot of fireworks clowns and dancing and backing singers and uh, there wasn't a lot of activity going on which made it a good opportunity to actually just if you haven't really listened that much to the song previously or didn't really care for it now you actually can see a very beautiful profound performance yeah, that is true now Irial slash Georgia they're not necessarily considered like a short qualifier even at this point um, do you think this helps the staging you think it's just the same what were you thinking I, I still don't think it's it's going to be like a short qualifier of course but they, I think they've got an outside chance of sneaking into the final um, and um, I think before we came to Lisbon uh, I think this was the song that I kind of had a preconceived idea of what I wanted the staging to be in my head mm. when listening to the song I was like oh I can see what they're going to do they're going to have like a big wide shot at the end with the, the you know the, the rain curtain or whatever they, they call it like the sparks coming down and uh, they did exactly that yeah. and um, but other than that they kept it very simple they kept it very um, it was it was quite cute in yeah. a way um, it's, it's such a special kind of song and um, I think they just let themselves and the song do the talking for them yeah. and I think uh, people will really connect with this one I think, yes no I think actually they did the right thing because we see the rehearsals they you know one run through through run through and there are slight changes whether it's the camera angle or some effects that are being added and what I really really liked about this especially at the very end you have, as you say, the, the rain curtain, the firework curtain, what you want to call it, um, really just adding to that big finale, because the song has a very nice yeah. build. It yeah. starts very slow, and then they pick it up, they add harmonies, and it gets bigger, and add instruments, and at the end it's that big note, and that's when the firework starts. And then they also, at the beginning, they have like the very nice fog effect there that really kind of creates a certain atmosphere. I think they're using a little bit things here and there just to kind of accentuate the staging without losing its, uh, I don't want to know, simplicity is maybe not a nice word, but you know what I mean when I say that as far as like, you know, this is a song where the vocals stand out and the feel, and I think that is what they got accomplished. Now, do you think, just think about, it, is there anything you would have liked to them to do differently or anything to prove upon for the second rehearsal? Well, I, I think now that when you, when you have seen different kind of camera work where they zoom in, they zoom out, they do these, these lengthy views around, and they actually didn't do that so much with Georgia. They, they were quite focused on them and they didn't do all this like spin arounds mm -hmm. because all of us, I, I think that it, they kept it s simple camera work and at the end, at the fourth Rehearsal, I think mm -hmm. it was. I think they had I think four. So. Yeah, they, they they did this with the smoke and the and the firework backdrop at the finale, as they say, at the end of the song, which I think was just like lifting it up. So I think it, it, the performance itself, I, w I couldn't put any finger on what I would do Here differently. Do. What do you, if you have one thing to change or add or remove? What would you do? Hmm. In case they're watching this video. Yeah, well, I don't think they are at the moment, but um, yeah, um, I, there's not really a lot I would change. I think they keep it very, very classy, very elegant. Um, perhaps the only thing I would say is that some of the camera angles that don't quite have the effect that they should do. Um, I think there should be more focus on on the band as a whole, as a unit. Um, but I do like that they do bring in the, um, you know, the um, I think it was the the keyboardist and the guitarist. They do bring them into the performance as well. Um, so yeah, there's not really too much more that you could improve with it. Maybe just make it a little less intimate so that it's not too insular, yeah. perhaps. 
Yeah, no, and I see that. And the only thing I would say, at least, it, it could be just a screen that we had in the press room. I feel it's because there's always like a different lead singer for a different part of the song. It seems as in the backup vocals and were not when they were playing backup, you couldn't hear them enough in certain parts. Like the, the other voices were too loud. They need to crank up some of the the sound a little bit. The voices at some point it feels a little low. But other than that, I feel as I think they captivated, captured the spirit of the song in a very effective manner. So I think we're all kind of on the same page. Little tweak here and there that's what the rehearsals are there for so um, we'll go from there so my final question well, is well, go ahead, what? well actually if I hear you two right do you think that it seemed like there were three individual vocalists you, did, did you did what you two were missing was it that they were seeming more like a band like a group together yes, yeah 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 well no because you know sometimes one person takes the lead in the vo vocals mm. right? and then the other but when the uh, a certain uh, one singer takes the lead um, I didn't hear the other voices as much when they were doing more kind of the harmonies right and that's what I felt like maybe crank it up there a little to kind of just because they have fantastic harmonies right? to give it the band feel yes to give it the band feel exactly I think one other thing they could do is that I, I mentioned well I, I remember saying when they were in Tel Aviv for Israel calling they came together as the, the trio of singers mm. they came together and it was quite a nice sort of finale where they're all singing together they had yeah. their arms around each other there's a bit of a camaraderie there and we don't quite get that on the stage here so I think if they came yeah. together for the ending and had you know the, the fireworks coming down and the zoom out shot I think that would be much more effective oh, than that, them yeah. just standing separately that is a good idea so then the last question I have right now so if it right now things could change you know rehearsals will change there's still several other countries that have to rehearse but just your gut feel your tummy what is telling you you think they are going to qualify this will probably be adjusted just the first feel right now yes or no my heart says yes my head says no <laughs> my heart says yes yeah. my I head really, says really no as well I I'm really, completely yeah. I really want them I love the song I think they did it great but my head says no as well I want them to qualify on my personal yeah, note, yeah. On a personal note, I always have operate with two different systems. Right, yeah, like I know, my, we all do. Yeah, like my personal ones, and then the ones I think that the public will. And I'm sorry to say, I really think that the public will vote no for this. Yeah. Maybe the t juries will really help this. They may appreciate the quality of this, but this is just right now. It, as there are, there are people in the crowds in the dress rehearsals, we may change our opinions. It's just a first gut feeling. We all hope we're all we're all wrong. We don't even oh, want, we, we want to be wrong. <laughs> so anyway, but what do you think? Um, have you seen the clip on the YouTube channel on Eurovision? Check it out and let us know. What was your first impression? Did you like it? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section, as Sean is telling you. And um, we'll see you all soon. Okay, bye bye.